todo tipo de contaminación, empezando desde aguas usadas y sabrá Dios qué más, aceites, este, de todo lo que pueda caer por las alcantarillas por ahí viene para la aquí. El Caño Martín Peña is located in the heart of the capital of Puerto Rico, right next to the financial district called La Milla del Oro. The region is made up of eight communities and is home to over 27,000 residents with strong ties to the land. These communities were originally settled uh, since the 1930s as part of a migration of peasants from the rural Puerto Rico. They occupied the lands that nobody else wanted, and at the time, those lands were the wetlands that people associated with the malaria mosquito. Today, El Caño Martín Peña is the most densely populated area in all of Puerto Rico and lacks a functioning sewer system. The waters are used as landfills and are contaminated with bacteria found in human excrement. The situation is one of uh, overcrowded uh, communities that are still lacking today in the 21st century. They have very basic infrastructure. The lack of a functioning sewer system is a critical environmental and health crisis. Every time it rains, the water overflows, flooding the residents' homes with contaminated water. The lack of infrastructure, sewage, is something that got to be part of this comprehensive dredging and restoration. All this waste is going into the canal and is contaminating not only the canal, but also the ecosystem of that entire community. Once the flooding happens, they have to replace their bedding, their furniture, and these are communities that have their own economic challenges. It really is a, a, a crisis. Puerto Rico in general, we have a very high humidity index, and then you add to that constant flooding from the Caño Martín Peña and the non-functioning storm drains, and that leads to the development of a lot of fungi within the homes that affects the developing lungs of the children. We need to have a way to deviate the waters back out either to the San Juan Bay or to the San Jose Lagoon. In an effort to improve water quality and help address public safety issues, project groups such as Enlace and G8 have formed. The Caño Martín Peña communities created legislation that also, in turn, created institutions designed by the community to make sure that they could implement their plan. But the community is in dire need of additional aid. In order to alleviate the environmental and health concerns of El Caño Martín Peña, $600 million are needed. So what you need to do is divide the project in different areas so that Things can be accomplished little by little. The federal government has to come on board the same way that we go to other countries and provide aid. We cannot be lecturing anyone about human dignity and human rights if in our own backyard we allow for children to go and play in water that is filled with excrement and other contamination. Que todo esto estaba lleno de agua. Sí, ¿y te metiste en esa agua? ¿Qué, qué? Está loco. Just imagine. You're up to your hip in water with human excrement, and then the sun starts hitting. And what you see on top of the water is a vapor, and that vapor smells. And just imagine you have to pick up your kid and put them in your shoulders so that his or her little white socks don't get soaked in human excrement before they go to school. This is a matter of human rights. It is important for all of us to put a face into El Caño Martin Peña. Act now. Sign our petition at change.org and request the U.S. Congress to fund the environmental restoration of Caño Martín Peña. Find out how you can get involved or donate. Email info at martinpeña.org.